Is a cigar factory, a rice mill, and an office building. But his fortune it didn't last for very long. A famine in China cut off rice shipments, sending the price of rice skyrocketing from 4 to 36 cents per pound. Norton saw an opportunity to make even more money when Willie Sillam told him about a ship carrying Peruvian rice. If purchased, Norton would be able to undercut the market significantly as he could get the shipments of Peruvian rice for just 12.5 cents per pound, nearly one third of the going rate. Unfortunately, after putting a $2,000 deposit on a shipload of rice that would cost him $25,000 in total, more and more Peruvian ships carrying rice sailed into harbor. The price of rice dropped to three cents per pound, meaning Norton would not only not make a profit but lose a significant amount of money in the process. He tried to nullify the contract on the grounds that Sillam had misled him. The incident resulted in a two and a half year court battle with the outcome in Sillam's favor. Norton had to pay the remaining $23,000. At this point, Norton was near ruin. The bank foreclosed on Nullify. Ninety-five. Ninety-five.